Hello, I'm Ben Bamboozle and welcome to a day in the life of a Punch and Judy man. First job of the day is to get the car and load it up with all my kit. This is the first time of loading the car with all my kit and all my equipment in the back. Um, so there's the whole Punch and Judy and magic show and I've got to say, I'm very impressed with a Master 6. It's ideal for a Punch and Judy man, there's loads of spare space still left in the back with the seats down. It's now 7am and today I'm off to Folkestone, Folkestone Museum doing Punch and Judy shows there. Uh, just looked at the time, it's 100 miles to get there, so a long journey ahead uh, from sunny Worthing to Folkestone. Um, it's the first time I've actually done a journey in the new car, so fingers crossed it gets there okay. And let's go. Quick stop for fuel, £74.76 to fill it up in the tank. Plus I put 50 quid in the other day, so it's got a big tank. And it is 175.9 a litre here, it's unleaded. So we made it here. Um, I'm parked in a multi-storey car park. The car park that was suggested, I can only park there for four hours, so I've had to park a bit further away. So I'm going to go and look for the museum now, which is in the town centre. Just walking through the town centre, I see they've got a traditional pie and mash shop. I could be coming here for lunch if it's open. So I found the museum, looks lovely in here. They've got a load of things in here. There's a skeleton out here as well. I'm going to have a look around in a minute. But this is the room where I'm setting up. This is where my audience is going to be. I think I'm doing four shows. Um, they're sort of selling tickets to come and watch the show, so hopefully it'll be a success. I'll do a little um, time thing of me setting up now. So we're all set up, ready for our shows at Folkestone Museum today. Next show is at 12 o'clock. All the puppets are hanging up inside there. And then outside here they've got a real skeleton. I'll just show you in the museum. You go out here. Oh have got <laughs> a real life skeleton. Not sure how old this chap is. We're just having a coffee, just done the first show. Unfortunately, it was um, only one person here for the first show. I've got to do three more. Next one's at 12 o'clock. Seems very, very quiet. I haven't seen anybody in the museum yet. Well, I suppose it's early days, maybe. And it goes, got my coffee. Cheers. It's lunchtime, and I just thought I'd have a little walk around the town, have a little look around folks, and I got a pub called The Punch and Judy, which is quite fitting. <laughs> Quite nice in the town centre here. I've never I've been to Folkestone before, but I don't remember walking around this part of it. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, nice. I think this has got to rate as one of the most impressive whipper spoons I've ever seen. It's incredible. I'll show you inside. I'm just walking up the steps inside. I've got a full on organ inside here. Let's have a look up here. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Stained glass windows. It's got the old organ pipes, um, but it's just being used as a table for all the sauces in front of it. <laughs> I don't know if it was, I don't know what this building was, if it was being used as a cinema or a theatre or, or what, I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know. Yeah, how about that for a Wetherspoon, so all those boots. Just looking up the history, it was a Baptist chapel built by Samuel Peto, or Peto, who built a load of railways and also Nelson's, Col Nelson's Column in London. Um, so yeah, what a building. <laughs> this is the outside of the museum where I'm doing my shows and I'm on the poster here that Punch and Judy today, three pound per child. <laughs> I think it's time to see if I can get pie and mash. I decided against the pie and mash shop. I'm quite fussy with my pie and mash and I wasn't 100% sure about it. I'm sure it might be okay. Let me know if you've been to the pie and mash shop in Folkestone, if it's any good or not. But I saw another very old place um, that I thought I'd try instead, so I'm going to head there. Let's try this place, Ken's Hillside Cafe. <laughs> it just looks so quirky, I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, there we go, steak pie, all up for seven pounds. <laughs> Looks good, smells good as well. I think I made the right choice there. So look inside the cafe, there's the old guy who's been running it for years at the back there. After a lovely lunch, it's now back to work. Uh, two more shows, two o'clock and three o'clock. I think the next one's actually going to be quite busy. I've seen quite a few kids around and older ones as well, which is good for me. 
Um, so just going to get ready, get everything plugged in and ready for the next show. I might record a bit of this one too. So I was in a bit of a rush and I forgot to film the last part where I was driving home but basically I had a two hour drive home then I had to go straight out the door to work at the Indian restaurant just well I changed my shirt to work at the Indian restaurant so it's now 10.30 I've just had some curry so my lips are burning a little bit I've got yellow fingers where I've been touching the curry <laughs> but that was my day in the life hope you enjoyed it